Hi guys, Chris here again. Um, today I'm just going to show you a quick base design we've been working on. Um, it's a deck foundation with um, four expansions. Uh, we've got it set up on a hill. I'll show you that a bit later. Well, I'll show you now actually because I'm outside. Uh, the expansions, because it's up on the top of a hill like that, the expansions hang out and are actually quite high and it's quite hard to you know, if you were to blow up one of those walls, you couldn't use it to boost in. Uh, I've noticed on one of our other bases that um, the people, they, uh, they raided it from the side. So they blew off a side wall and then they boosted in and, and took the base apart from the inside. Um, without having to worry about going through the front, uh, the front doors, which are usually double gated and um, overhanging large shelters like that. Yeah, so this one we chose to put on the hill. It's a good location. It's in the middle, uh, middle of Pleasant Valley as well. So, um, yeah, it just makes it a little bit harder to raid. So, one large uh, deck foundation with four expansions. Uh, roof access is um, at the back. This is the only uh, stairs to get to the roof. When you're on the roof, you'll get a bit more of an appreciation of how big it is up here. Uh, it's just a ring of upper level large shelters that go around the base. Um, each of these rooms you can um, get into and repair. Uh, oh, there's another staircase here, but it's only a half staircase. We have it here to give you a vantage point to look out around your base while being covered by the tree, so it's pretty handy actually. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, the way you go about placing these, um, uh, the ring of upper level large shelters, you just go around in a circle, but what you would do is you would put a large shelter here, facing outwards, overhanging, and then you would um, put, place your upper level shelter above it like that. And then you would have to destroy the large, level, the large shelter uh, at the bottom, and you just continue all the way around. Uh, obviously you don't do it here because that one's an overhanging. So I'd put, I'd put one here and then place that one up there. Um, I wouldn't place that one there, I'd have to go to the next section. Put a large shelter out this way and then I'd play, um, put the upper level there. You can see that on the door. Oh, another trick too, because that gate is um, opening into the other gate. Uh, I'll quickly show you. So if I was to click that gate in the middle, it's just going to open the other gate, which is a pain in the ass. You can then close this gate, which is fine. Then you have to go all the way around the outside to close that gate again. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, one better way, which is uh, how I would have done it normally without having to show you guys, but... um. What you want to do is you, instead of clicking in the middle of the gate which opens the other one, try and find the edge of the gate like there, and then it'll close that gate without affecting the other gate. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of resources go into this because uh, we have to um, build a lot of large, level sh uh, large uh, shelters over uh, so that we can um, place the upper level large shelters around the inner ring but it's um, definitely worth it I think it's a pretty hard base to raid um, you have all your loot up in the ring as well so um, they really have to go through a lot of gates and and um, shelters before they get to your loot and um, if they do um, manage to get to it and they blow up the um, they blow up the shelter then the loot is placed far enough away that um, uh, they probably won't be able to even get the loot anyway. All right, guys, um, that's our that's one of our bases. I'll take you across and show you another one now. Right, peace out.